What's going on everybody? This is Ultima iDevice Vids and today in this video we're going to be checking out 20 tweaks for iOS 13. All the tweak names, sources, prices, and video timestamps can be found in the description down below. Arc allows you to easily launch applications, switch applications, and execute a variety of actions through a menu that can be pulled up from the corner of your screen just like this. So again, you could easily launch applications and switch between apps using this menu. And of course, again, you could execute actions like opening up the control center, opening up Siri, and more. And if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, there's a whole host of options to configure here. And a few things I want to point out is, of course, the ability to determine which corner you want the tweak to be activated with. And of course, the buttons, which again, allow you to select any application to show up in this menu in addition to a whole host of other actions. Visa allows you to add toggles to the lock screen slash cover sheet area for easy access as you can see right here. You could also rearrange these toggles just by tapping and holding like so. Now after you install this tweak you want to make sure you jump over to the settings for it and select the toggles that you want to show. And there's also a whole host of customization and layout options available in the settings as well. Last look gives you a quick glance at your lock screen slash cover sheet area when you put your device to sleep. So as you can see right here, I put my device to sleep. I have this nice OLED friendly darkened view where I can take a look at what's on my lock screen. And of course it will actually fade out as you can see and go fully to sleep just like that. So if you often find yourself locking your device and then waking it right back up to see what's on your lock screen, this tweak will automatically give you this nice OLED friendly darkened view where you can see what's there, of course, right before it goes to sleep fully just like that. And of course, if you guys jump into the settings for last look, there's a whole host of options to configure. I do want to point out the ability to configure how long you want the screen to stay on. And you could also configure which items will actually show up in that darkened state. Weather Ground allows you to use live weather effects as your wallpaper. As you can see right here, I have this very nice weather effect going right now. And if I open up the weather app, you'll see it's the same condition that's going on right now. So with this tweak, you can literally just wake up your device and immediately know what the weather is just by looking at your wallpaper. And of course, if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, there's a whole host of options to configure. However, something I want to bring your attention to is the option called Use Weather Effects Only. And with this enabled, it's just going to overlay the current weather effects on top of your wallpaper rather than taking over your entire wallpaper. So as you can see here with this effect, it's a little bit more subtle. It's not going to take over your entire wallpaper. It's just going to give you a preview of the current weather conditions. Swipe Extender X allows you to add a whole host of useful shortcuts to the iOS keyboard. And what you're looking at right now is a preset that the tweak comes with called iPhone Recommended. And with this preset, you could swipe up on the keys to get the capital letter of that key. And if you swipe down, you'll get the alternative character that you normally have to go into the second menu to access. And also, as you can see here, I could go ahead and swipe up on my spacebar to get options like select all, select, cut, copy, paste, easily just like that. And if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, of course, there's a whole host of options to configure. And once again, the preset that I'm using is called iPhone Recommended. However, you could also map out your own individual keys if you go into Edit Keys. For instance, I'm just going to put in a lowercase a key. And again, you could map out what will happen when you swipe up, swipe down, etc., any of these different actions on that specific key. Barry allows you to easily launch your favorite applications right from your lock screen slash cover sheet area. As you can see here, I have four different applications down here, and we also have this very nice wavy line effect. Basically, you just drag the applications down to the bottom, and it opens up the application just like that very quickly. So I'll show you guys with reminders as well, just like that. And of course, if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, you have the ability to determine which four applications will show up on the lock screen, in addition to the color of the waves effect on the lock screen, and you could hide the quick button actions as well. And just to let you guys know, if you have a home buttonless iPhone, I do recommend you go into the accessibility settings and disable reachability because I personally found when swiping down to launch applications, it would trigger reachability because the gesture is similar. It's just swipe down down here. So again, if you have a home buttonless iPhone, I recommend you turn off reachability for a better experience. DND My Recording will automatically enable Do Not Disturb as soon as you initiate a screen recording on your device. So as you can see right here, as soon as my device is recording the screen, Do Not Disturb is automatically enabled. So of course, this is useful because your screen recording won't be interrupted by incoming notifications and of course as soon as you stop screen recording do not disturb will automatically be disabled now in order to use this tweak properly you want to make sure you go into your do not disturb settings and have it set to always under silence because if it's set to only when the iPhone is locked it's not going to do you any good in regards to this because of course when you're screen recording your screen is awake so just make sure it's set to always Globe Alarm Settings allows you to initiate a few different actions that apply to all of your alarms on your device. So if you go into the Alarm section of the Clock app and select Edit, you can see we have this new button titled Set All. And if you select this, you have numerous different options that you can apply to all of your alarms, as you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and toggle off all my alarms. And just like that, as you can see, all my alarms are disabled. And of course, if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, you can determine which options you want to show. Groups allows you to organize the conversations in your messages application into various groups. So as you can see here, I have a friends group and I also have a work group. And of course, I have an all messages group. 
And if you swipe to the right on a conversation, you'll have the option to add to a group or remove from a group. And if you press add to a group, it'll show you a list of all the groups that you have configured. And of course, if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, you can determine the group names for your different groups in addition to some other options. Vinyl redesigns the lock screen slash cover sheet media player. As you can see right here, it's definitely much smaller and more compact. And of course, in the settings for this tweak, there's various different options to configure for the tweak. Safari features allows you to add some great features to mobile Safari. For instance, as you can see right here, I have the tab view active in portrait mode on the iPhone, which is normally not available. Also, you can see my bookmark bar is always going to be showing right there. My status bar is hidden. And I also have this grid view for the tabs as well. And of course, if you jump into the settings for the tweak, you can determine which options you want to use. And of course, you can enable or disable the tweak. SITUM allows you to easily perform a search on a particular term or word. So just go ahead and select that term or word and find the magnifying glass and select it. And as you can see right here, it'll bring up a mini little browser and perform a search of that term in your search engine of choice. Of course, you could dismiss this window just by pressing the X. And in the upper right hand corner, there's an option to go full screen and of course be redirected to a browser of your choice. And of course, the search engine you want to use and the browser that you want to be redirected to if you select it, in addition to some other options, can be configured inside the settings for the tweak. Normally in iOS, when low power mode is enabled, your auto lock time is set to 30 seconds and you're unable to change that in low power mode. However, with LPM auto lock time, you're able to do that. You're able to change it to either one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, or never. Just like you're normally able to do when not in low power mode. Rofi allows you to access your favorite applications through a slider that's placed on the side of your device. You can easily use it to switch between apps and launch applications. You could also tap and hold on it to switch between the left and right side of your device, as you can see right there. And of course, if you jump into the settings for this tweak, you have the ability to change and customize a whole host of options. I do want to point out, of course, the ability to select which applications you want to show up there and the apps per page, which determines how many applications will show up in each page. And of course, if you surpass that with how many apps you add, you just slide up and down to access the apps. Dock spring allows you to easily respring your device just by sliding up on the dock like that. Normally in iOS, when using reachability mode, after you tap on an actual option, reachability will normally dismiss itself. However, as you can see here, with stay down, reachability will continue to stay active even after you select options. The same thing goes for if you tap the empty space at the top of reachability. Normally that dismisses, but as you can see, it does not in this case. With this tweak, you actually have to slide up on the arrow or wait for reachability to time out. So if you find yourself often using reachability, this tweak can come in handy. Transparent Notif will clean up the way the notifications look. As you can see, they're completely transparent. There's also options that allow you to remove the icon name and timestamps, in addition to some other options. And of course, this can all be configured inside the settings for the tweak. And Clear Widgets applies a very similar effect to widgets in iOS. As you can see, they're completely transparent. And of course, with this tweak as well, you can jump into the settings to configure some options. Pill volume will make the brightness and volume sliders in the control center this different pill type design. And this applies to both the expanded view like this and the shrunken view, as you can see. Icon Vibe allows you to add taptic feedback to when you open up applications. And if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, you can toggle between, of course, having it disabled that off or soft or strong taptic feedback. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.